Okay, so uh, we start with introduction to cryptography. What do you mean by cryptography or cryptology? So the cryptography is to uh, is an area in by which we uh, we can able to uh, communicate two people which are remotely sitting in two different place and that communication should be in a secure way and they are communicating over a insecure channel. So, usually these two people this is the fundamental objective of cryptography fundamental objective of cryptography is to uh, is to enable two people and these two people name we usually use in the crypto every book or everywhere Alice and the second person is Bob. So, two people is usually referred as name as Alice and Bob. So, uh, the fundamental objective of cryptography is to enable two people to communicate over an insert two people for a secure communication communication over over an insecure channel over an public channel over a public channel or So, this is the area where which uh, which uh, guarantee us or which give us confidence to uh, for the secure communication between two party Alice and Bob and and they are communicating over public channels say telephone, internet, email, Facebook, WhatsApp. So, this area this, this is the objective of cryptography to uh, it says uh, science of art of secret writing. So, we are communicating over an insecure channel which is public and which is uh, which is uh, which can be captured by any party and but the communication should be secured. So, whatever is sending by the alley should not be revealed by anybody else other than Bob. So, let us draw the picture suppose there are these Alice and Bob in sitting in two different place say Alice is sitting in say Delhi or in some part of India and Bob is sitting say uh, New York or USA. Okay. So, now they, 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 they want to communicate. So, Alice want to communicate to Bob. So, Alice wants to send a message to Bob. So, message could be anything like say a Bob called Alice and Bob asked hey what is your age. So, this is the say age of Alice this could be a message Alice wants to send to Bob. So, this is say 24 suppose Alice age is 24. So, Alice wants to uh, let Bob know that Alice age is 24. So, if so Alice is communicating with Bob over a public channel. So, this channel is public. So, public means it could be telephone or it could be email, uh, whatsapp, facebook anything I mean uh, any internet option. So, so these are all public channels. So, which is captured by a third party which is named as Oscar. So, Oscar has access to this channel full access to this channel Oscar can hear or Oscar can see whatever uh, messages whatever communication is going on over this public channel. So, Oscar is typically referred as a bad guy So, Oscar is hearing everything. So, if just Alice send that hey my age is 24 then if Alice passed 24 then Oscar will, will also come to know that 24 is Alice age. So, that they uh, Alice they do not want to reveal their I mean age say. So, this is the secret this is the message Alice wants to send to Bob 
without revealing this information to the third party. So, what Alice can do or so this is the whole area of cryptography how we can uh, securely communicate over an insecure channel this channel is insecure. Okay. So, now what Alice can do Alice can do something on the plain text this this is called plain text or message I will come to that. So, Alice can do something on the plain text. So, Alice can reverse this. So, Alice can so 24 42 and then Alice can send this 42 Bob to Bob. Now, upon receiving 42 Bob has to get back 22. So, what Bob will do? So, Bob has to know what, what Alice did. So, Bob has to again reverse this 42 to get back 24, but if Oscar knows that they just reverse it then Oscar will also be uh, able to uh, get the Alice original age which is 24. Uh, what, what else Alice can do? Alice can add something on this say Alice can add 20 on this or Alice can multiply 10 on this. So, 10. So, maybe Alice can add something on this say Alice can add say 18 on this or 28 on this say 26 yeah. So, this would be a round figure. So, Alice is adding 26 on this. So, then it is 50. So, now Alice sent 50 over this public channel. Okay. So, uh, so 50, 50 is not Alice original age. So, Alice original age is 24, but Alice did something Alice add 26 with it and got a number which is 50. Alice could multiply, Alice could multiply 3 that is also possible, but this way Alice is uh, uh, hiding the this message or this original information. So, 50 now 50 uh, Bob is receiving 50. So, after receiving 50 and Oscar is also receiving 50. So, Oscar will assume Alice S is 50, but Bob knows that Alice did something. So, Alice Bob knows Oscar may be also knowing Alice, Alice added something, but how much Alice added that information Oscar will not be having. So, that information this 26, this 26 is typically shared between Alice and Bob. So, this this is called key, this 26 is called key or the secret key which is shared between Alice and Bob sorry this is 26. Okay. So, up, upon receiving this 50, so what Bob will do? Bob will subtract this uh, 50 minus this key and get back 24 which is the Alice original age. Okay. So, this is this is this process is called encryption process or this is called encryption what Alice is doing. This is called encryption and this thing what Bob is doing to get back the plain text this is called decryption. Okay. And this is called this 24 is called message or the plain text. Or the plain text, and this 26, which has been added with the plain text to get this 50, is called key, secret key shared between Alice and Bob. So how they are sharing that is also another issue. How they because they they cannot just come telephone and say okay we are going to use 26 as our key, then that 26 will be revealed to the Oscar. So Oscar also will be getting the key. So that communication that how they will get this to end, how they will agree with this common key. So, that is another issue. So, that that has to be done in a secure way otherwise it will be revealed by the third party and the after encryption the output is called ciphertext. Ciphertext. So, this 50 is the ciphertext. So, this ciphertext is the output after the encryption algorithm. This encryption algorithm is very simple. We are adding, we are taking the plain text, we have the key, secret key shared between Alice and Bob, and we are adding this and we are getting 
the cybertext and this cybertext is being uh, 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 sent over the public channel and upon receiving this cybertext what bob is doing to get back the plain text bob is having the key bob is applying the reverse process of that encryption that is called decryption process so encryption was added so decryption has to be subtraction so bob is subtracting this 26 and get back uh, the plain text which is 24. So, this process is called decryption process or the decryption algorithm this algorithm and this is the key and Bob has to use the same key. Now, what Oscar can do the third party? So, Oscar is okay, have, having full access to this public channel. So, Oscar is receiving this uh, 50 which is the cipher text, but Oscar is not having this key. So, this key which is here is 26 is typically with Alice and Bob. So, nobody else is having this key. So, that means, Oscar is not knowing what is the key, but Oscar may be knowing that they have added something. So, this encryption algorithm is public. We cannot say that we will not reveal we have whether we have added or we have multiplied or we have divided, uh, we have used the division for our encryption. That, that, that encryption algorithm we, uh, we, we make it public. Okay. We, this is public that we have added something. So, but how much we have added? Then that information is not public. So that key is the secret key, which is shared between Alice and Bob. So that is here is 26. So what Oscar can do? Oscar is getting only this cipher text. Oscar is not having the key. So Oscar goal of the Oscar is to guess what is the key and what is the plain text, what is the Alice original age. Okay. So, this is the uh, this is the uh, th this is the fundamental objective of cryptography. So, this we will we'll be knowing this encryption algorithm, decryption algorithm, the study of this is called uh, cryptography and the who who does this uh, who the people who are working on this is called the cryptographer. Okay, so, uh, so, this is so, what Alice is doing this is the encryption and what Bob is doing that is the decryption algorithm. Okay, so, can you go to the slide please? Okay, so, here is the, uh, the cryptography is the science or art of secret writing. So, two party usually referred as Alice and Bob. So, they are communicate. So, fundamental objective of cryptography is to enable two party to communicate over an insecure channel such a way that the third party Oscar cannot understand what is being uh, said. I mean, so this age should not be revealed by the third party. Oscar should not get what is the age of the Alice. So, this is the uh, so, this is the some terminology plain text which we have discussed the information that Alice wants to send to Bob that H here in this example. Alice wants to send the H to let Bob knows Alice H. So, the H here is the plain text. So, the information that Alice wants to share with Bob is called plain text. So, Alice encrypt the plain text using the predetermined key. So, this, this key is shared between Alice and Bob and this is this is the encryption process. Now, upon receiving the cipher text, Oscar cannot determine what is the plain text or what is the key, but Bob should able to, uh, Bob is having the encryption key. So, Bob should able to decrypt it to get back the plain text. So, this is the typical communication channel. So, we have two party Alice and Bob. So, there is a plain text source of plain text space and so there is a encryption algorithm. So, in this case our encryption algorithm is very simple one it is a addition. So, this is typically called SIP cipher we will formally define what is a SIP cipher. So, Alice is choosing a plain text and Alice is choosing a encryption algorithm and they shared with a common key see the secret key k this is shared between Alice and Bob and this is done in a secured way. I mean so that I mean either they can meet with each other at some point of time and they can decide okay, this 26 we are going to use for as our key for next one year. So, that is one option 
they 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 made some uh, December time they made and they say decided okay we are going to use this is our key for our next one year communication, but that is also danger because key may be revealed so there is a risk of uh, using the same key for uh, long time so we need to change the keys depending on the application in our mobile uh, how much uh, security we will, whether we should keep the key for one day one we uh, one hour one minute so maybe our prime minister mo mobile they change the key in a second so every second keys are changing so these are called session key so it's not a good idea to decide a key and use for it for long time because it could be revealed so so this is one po uh, problem to share the key so this is there anyway somehow they have to agree with this common key uh, this k. So, this k are coming from the key source and this k they have shared over the secure channel either they meet with each other or they trust on somebody to send the key something like that. And this Oscar is the bad guy third party who is the called crypto crypt analyst who is I mean ready to break the code or the hacker. So, is to guess what is the key this is the key had I mean the guessing of the key or what is the plain text the message Alice sent to Bob. So, this is a typical communication channel in cryptography. So, cryptography has two component one is uh, the uh, crypto cryptography which is the this which uh, which is the area where we we know the algorithm like encryption algorithm decryption algorithm and how we shared the key all these issues come under this cryptography. And the other side of the coin is the breaking the code like hacker the crypt analyst. So, this is called crypt analyst the other side of the coin. So, uh, cryptographer they design the code and crypt analyst they break the code. So, their job is to breaking the code. So, this is called crypt analyst or crypt uh, the people who are breaking the code are called crypt analyst and this this area is called crypt analysis and the cryptography is to design designer who design the these algorithms and combining two area is called cryptology is basically the whole area of I mean this cryptography and crypt analysis. Okay, the main two area of cryptography is symmetric key cryptography and and uh, public key cryptography the in symmetric key cryptography Alice and Bob they shared with a they shared with a secret key k. So, this is single key or symmetric key and they uh, if Alice wants to send a message to Bob then Alice will apply encryption algorithm which is basically e k of m and get a ciphertext and this ciphertext Alice is so, this is the encryption algorithm encryption function or encryption algorithm and this ciphertext is sending to Bob and this after receiving this C. So, Bob will apply another algorithm which is called decryption algorithm which is use the same key on C this is basically d k of C is basically e k of m. So, it should give us m. So, this is called decryption. So, this is called typically a symmetric key because we have used the same key or the symmetric key, symmetric key or 5 head key or the single key crypto system cryptography. Okay. And there are other area which is called public key. So, there everybody is having two pair of keys because in this case the uh, there are many issues like how they share with this key common key. So, to avoid that public key was invented after the work of DP Hellman key exchange protocol. They, they gave a uh, algorithm where Alice and Bob sitting to different place can agree with a common key. So, after that work this public key was invented. 
but all the conventional cryptography like SIP cipher, scissor cipher, Playfair cipher all are comes under symmetric crypto system. Okay, so, uh, so, this is the conventional crypto en encryption algorithm, this is basically symmetric key. So, we, we, we have a encryption algorithm. So, this is used a this, this algorithm use a uh, key which is a secret key shared between Alice and Bob and this is the plain text which is the input and another input is the key and it is generate basically the cipher text. This is Alice is doing uh, sender and this is this part is receiver is doing which is referred as Bob and this is basically we have this is we are receiving that uh, Bob is receiving the cipher text and Bob is having the common key k and that using that key Bob is uh, uh, the decrypting that uh, cipher text to get the plain text. Okay, so, this is the uh, simplified model of okay, so come back to the formal definition of a crypto system. So, what do you mean by a crypto system? So, typically a crypto system is a 5 tuple. Crypto system is basically a 5 tuple uh, P set of plain text, C set of cipher text, K set of uh, key space. E set of encryption algorithm, D set of, set of decryption algorithm. So, this is called set of all possible plain text, set of all possible plain text or this is referred as plain text space. And this is set of all possible cipher text, this is called cipher text space. And this is the key space that means set of all possible keys, key space this is set of all possible keys. And this is the uh, this is the set of all possible encryption algorithm. This is uh, set of all possible encryption algorithm. Possible encryption function. Encryption function or algorithm. So basically, this is a function which is taking. Uh, this is a function. Uh, so encryption function is basically if we denote this by e of k. Uh, it is basically uh, plain text space e space to the cipher text space. This is a function form. So, this is taking a key if we so this is taking a key and then a plain text and giving us the cipher text. So, basically we are e of k of m is basically c. So, this is the plain text, this is the key and this is the cipher text. So, we choose a key once we choose a key, then our encryption algorithm is fixed and then we use take a plain text and we encrypt it and we get the cipher text. And this is called set of all possible decryption algorithm, set of all possible decryption algorithm. Okay. So, that means, this is this is basically a decryption function set of all possible decryption algorithm or decryption function. So, a decryption function is typically what are the input? So, input is a cipher text and the corresponding key and it will give us the plain text. So, d of k c is basically m if and only if e k of m is c. 
So, if this plain text, if this hypertext was derived from the encryption algorithm of uh, in after encrypting this plain text using the key k and then it should give us the it should give us the cipher text. Uh, yeah, so, this is the reverse process actually encryption is the decryption is the reverse process of the uh, encryption. So, this is this 5 tuple is called the uh, called the crypto system. So, but it must have some condition like for a given key we should there must exist a encryption algorithm such that and there must exist a decryption algorithm such that we should after encrypting a message uh, we get the cipher text and the cipher text if we apply the decryption algorithm we should able to get back the message. So, this is the condition this crypto system should have. So, let us write the condition for every key So, this is the formal way to define a crypto system. For every key, given a key from the key space, what we can do? So, there must exist. So, this is the symbol we use for there exist. There exist a encryption algorithm E k from this encryption space and, and a decryption algorithm from this d k which is basically reverse of this encryption process. Okay, so, decryption is basically reverse of the encryption process. In our example Alice a j was 24 we are adding something on 24 that adding something means that key the key is 26. So, the key was 26 and the encryption is just the addition. So, we are adding 24 plus 26 and we are getting the cipher text. So, but decryption is the reverse. So, and there exists a decryption algorithm such that such that uh, such that e, uh, if we encrypt a message we get the C. Now, on that C if we apply this decryption algorithm we should able to get back A and this must be true for all m from the plain text. So, that means for a given k for a given k we choose a k, k is typically chosen by the this uh, receiver Bob Alice and Bob this is the two uh, this is the symmetric crypto system. So, Alice and Bob typically choose a key k and they decide this is the k key we are going to use for our communication. So, after selecting the k they should able to have a encryption algorithm. Alice choose able to choose a encryption algorithm from this uh, set of all possible encryption algorithm encryption uh, algorithm space encryption function and the corresponding there should exist a corresponding decryption function such that this encrypting a message will give us the cipher text this is C and if we decrypt the C it should give us the plain text and this E C E k C k this function all should be uh, should be computationally feasible function I mean it should not be very hard to compute it should be computationally I mean uh, feasible that means, it should be polynomial function it should not be a hard function like n p hard n p complete. So, it should be I mean we should able to encrypt a message that is the idea and we should able to decrypt the corresponding cipher text to get back the message. So, this encryption algorithm decryption algorithm they should be uh, I mean communication uh, they, they should be computationally feasible it should not be typically hard problem or something. Okay. So, this is the uh, crypto system in the next class we will talk about some uh, conventional crypto system which are called classical crypto system like SIP cipher, scissor cipher, uh, substitution cipher. Okay, thank you.